Hey guys, in a previous video we've seen how do we uh, bake twice uh, inside Substance Painter and combine it inside for Photoshop. So in this video we're going to see how do we bake inside of normal set where combining the normal maps is slightly much more easier. So let's get started. So inside of uh, normal set uh, I have this high res mesh uh, that looks like this and I have a low res mesh that looks something like that. So this is the same non-average uh, low res cube which has split UVs and uh, we're going to see how does it bake inside my set. So I'll just start from default. Um, so first of all I'll first import my mesh and uh, the first thing I'll import is my high res mesh. The second thing I'll import is my low res mesh which is with split UV. Now inside my set I'm going to come to this new baker and on this baker I'm just going to drag the low res mesh inside the low group and the high res mesh inside this high group. Now what you're going to see is uh, from the very beginning uh, this high res mesh uh, we have uh, some of these floating objects here some of these cylinders uh, that we want to show that doesn't really work that well and let's see. So I'm going to hide this off and in my low when I select my low I can sort of see the cage uh, but let's see the bake before we see the cage. So under the, this baker one, we have an option called bake. So we can bake things out. That will save it as a temporary bake.psd file. Then we come to this preview option that will preview the material uh, that we bake. Um, so here we can see that uh, yeah, the bake result is not much because the cage is too small or the frontal distance, like I mentioned earlier, is too small. So I come to this low option and I can increase this max offset. So max op offset is similar to increasing the frontal distance of the cage um, which is nothing but the bounding box itself. And yeah it's a much more better visual when it comes to seeing the bounding box and seeing uh, the difference. So we see our high res mesh. The reason why this one bakes completely fine is because uh, the cage is you know quite uh, quite out from it. And the first thing we'll see is that by default, uh, normal set bakes with something called a smooth cage. If we switch off the smooth cage and we come to low now, and let's say we bake again, so let's say we bake this guy again, we'll get the same errors that we got inside of Substance Painter. But we'll see that the flats are now nice and not skewed. Um, so this is similar to the option inside of uh, Substance Painter, which is called if we come to our big mesh maps and we see this average normals this is essentially the same option that we see as smooth cage um, so like I mentioned the baker settings eventually or uh, it does change the cage and here we see how the cage is presented so this is what we would say let me just change the sky so we have a darker background so we can see this cage this is a non-average cage if we come to baker settings and we have the smooth cage, let's preview the bake uh, after baking it. And we see this this is the smooth cage. So this is, we can see that these are close to each other or combined or uh, sort of merged in a sense. That's how we can see this result baking in. And that's how we get the skewing results. Right? So to solve this issue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake with the smooth cage. But I'm going to come to this low res mesh and you have an option, I have some couple of options here. I will come to this uh, beans queue. What I will do is that will create this um, white color mask everywhere uh, on my scene, which is uh, in short uh, suggesting the average normals that are currently there. And we can see some interpolation happening here. Uh, it's a bit tiny to see, uh, but this is essentially the one that I showed you guys earlier where. Uh, you guys have these guys jagged so you can see these are pointing on the left hand side then it's straight and then it's on the right hand side so what we come in here is we we'll come in to this guy and we say alright so I want you to make this one uh, completely if I paint black on this part you see that your normals of this mesh will be completely straight right? let's compare it to the other guys which are averaged out and let's start painting them and where was where we think? So let's increase the flow. So it's a pretty obvious uh, non-average 
uh, option here, and I'll paint this guy out. So this is a skewing effect. Uh, another thing I'll paint is these guys. These guys will, should be exactly in that particular place. And as compared to as modes alike, let's increase the brush size. And uh, what I'm doing is we're just painting this guy out. I should be there. So you can see our skewed results. Now we're converting them to a non average result. We see our painting where we're painting is becoming black color in this mask. And we can continue painting either on the UV, either we can come in and paint around this part. I mean, but ideally painting around 3D is better. Let's see here. Almost done. And let's move these two guys. There you go. And once I click done, that should be it from a big. Right? So here we see is that here we got uh decent big now because this is how it's supposed to be i just removed them in photoshop and here we see that uh, we got a nice edges which are smooth and we got some nice uh, flat results right? and if you want to export this out uh, if you, or if you want to preview this you can preview it from these normal options or we can uh, uh, sort of look at it with this magnifying glass we can edit it uh, from this point uh, right now I'm just save this so I can save this as a multi-layer PSD file. I can say bake um, so that will retain my paint wherever I painted the colors and I'll retain the paint skew maps or paint skew. Um, so I'll just export this one out. So I'll just come down and see where this guy's saving as. Uh, I will just come into my normal set files. And I'll say big normals, replace it. Coming over here, we bake this out. I should save it around. Yep, there you go. So there's a big result, and that's how it looks like. Right? So hopefully, you guys uh, understand how we bake inside normal set. Uh, it is sometimes much more easier, but in some cases where you want the edges to uh, revert back to the original normals of the geometry. Uh, in that case, it sometimes it becomes harder to do that, uh, depending on certain situations. But nevertheless, Marmoset is a good baker, and many people use this in the industry. And it's pretty common for people to see this. Right? So that should be it. Uh, that should be how you guys fix a normal map um, using the baking twice method, but this time inside of Marmoset. Right? So, see you around in the next video. Bye bye.